and welcome everybody. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Fairlyn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Cancers for June 2019. I want to say happy birthday to some of you guys. All right, so this general reading is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for June. These readings can be a little vague. If you find yourself interested, you can go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I do live streams from time to time and I offer free readings and uh, as well as paid readings too on there it's really cool to interact with everybody it's a very educational community chatting amongst each other as well as we get into some spiritual talk there too as well all right all right my cancer so we already had one card pop out here and that is the hermit so apparently some of you guys aren't doing your spiritual studies you know, you're not meditating as much as you should be. You're not taking that alone time. You know, you guys are high emotions, high energy. You're very passionate about your families. But you got to care about yourself, Cancer. All right? Can't leave yourself high and dry. And also, the Hermit card does represent Virgo. So maybe there's a Virgo you need to bounce off in your life. Uh, you know, kind of talk and bounce ideas off of you know whether you got a project it could be love related if you have a sibling cousin a friend or also for some of you guys who are single this could be a virgo coming into your life maybe a hot summer fling all right but i do see for the majority of you guys it is you're not doing enough for yourself you're not taking those spa days you're not meditating properly you're not even going out and grounding and getting in touch with nature you know my cancers you guys are a water sign go to the beach go to the lake you know even go to the creek whatever it is go listen to the water go meditate go dip your feet in okay it's very important that you guys do that all right you guys are ruled by the moon so pay close attention to what is going on with the moon for june we have a new moon in gemini on the third and we have a full moon on the 17th in sagittarius okay guys we do have one retrograde in june that is neptune goes retrograde on june 20th we had a lot of retrogrades in april we have one for june and we have one for july but we'll get to that in july's video okay all right, so if you ever feel yourself being off a little bit, you know, like I always say, blame it on the retrogrades. <laughs> no, but really, they do affect us, and it affects not just you, it affects everybody, okay, guys? All right, so we have the Hermit, we have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Queen of Cups. A lot of you guys are feeling backstabbed right now, brokenhearted. Maybe your health isn't doing so well. Maybe some of you guys have even recently lost a loved one. Um, it could also be a relationship is over. It could signify a divorce as well as a life-changing event that you just really weren't ready for. So, Cancers, with this being said, I feel like this is something in the past for most of you guys. Some of you guys, this big, hurtful, life-changing event could be currently happening. So, with you have the Queen of Cups next, which is telling me that this traumatic event really has your emotions going crazy and you have every reason to be but we're going to have to kind of be able to take control of ourselves kind of think positive again and get your emotions balanced out you have the queen of cups here so you need to rule your emotions like a queen okay i know that might be harder you know said than done my sweet sweet cancers but whatever this is that's stressing you you need to realize that the hermit and the queen of cups is how you need to approach it you need to make sure that you have your alone time that you can get your closure that you're moving on spiritually you know that in dark times you know you're still shining a light you know as you can see he's shining a light over a icy mountaintop okay as if he's showing the way to others you know, maybe this is your Virgo trying to help out. Virgos are healers, guys. So if you do know a Virgo friend, they're great listeners. They're always there for you, okay? They are of the sixth house. So they're of service to the public. They love doing that type of crap. <laughs> Go cry on their shoulder, I'm telling you. They'll, it'll help. 
okay? And if you don't have that Virgo, and even if you do have that Virgo, I really see, I wanna stress the meditation, 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 okay guys? Twice a day for 20 minutes and try to do it the same exact time every day. A lot of people always come to me and tell me, Vera, I can't meditate, my mind is just full of thoughts. Meditation isn't meant to be purely a quiet mind. Thoughts do come in and out of your brain. You just accept them, push them away, and go back to your mantra, okay? If you don't have a mantra, maybe look one up. Find one for yourself, okay? All right, so meditate. Get a book about something spiritual that you're attracted to. Okay, Queen of Cups. We gotta get those emotions in balance. Kinda wipe them tears and put on your warrior face, okay? Rule with elegance. And uh, you know, for, for the Ten of Swords, a lot of, a lot of people hate when I say this. But guys, everything does happen for a reason. No matter how much it hurts, or you know, you feel like you'll never get out of it, never get over it, everything happens for a reason, okay? within time okay within time all right so i'm feeling one from the angels for my cancers oh before i do pull one from the angels i wanted to say it's spiritual findings with the gypsy souls one year anniversary it actually was in april but i am doing a giveaway for the whole month of june and july i do have a goal to reach 8,000 subscribers by my birthday august 31st and in doing so i have this lovely gift basket for some of you guys it has a tarot deck in it because i know a lot of you guys are interested in reading tarot yourself it has two different types of sages i have inc incense uh, Epsom salts. I have a really neat salt lamp. If some of you guys don't have it, it ring, brings a relaxing purification energy to the room. I have a tapestry here, and I also have a little bag of gemstones. I don't know where they went off to. They're here and here somewhere. All right, I have different types of quartz. I have carnelian, hematite, jaspers, all kinds of different crystals for you guys, okay? So how do you sign up for this little raffle contest giveaway, if you will? Subscribe hit the notification bell, and more importantly, share, guys, because I have that goal of 8,000 subscribers by my birthday. I am manifesting it, so it will happen, okay? I just might need your help. <laughs> All right. I know you guys still like me if you're, you're still with me in this video for almost eight minutes now, okay? All right, and shout out to some of my subscribers that have been around for the whole year, you know? Can you believe it's been a year already? I really love getting in touch with my subscribers, guys. I love hearing where you're from. I, I'm talking to you outside the channel, and you could do so on Facebook. Message me. A lot of fun here. All right. All right, there we go. I think I did say one from the angels, and I just automatically pulled from the fairies, so you're getting the fairies. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. And I really feel my cancers... This is going with the Queen of Cups here, okay? You need to think of yourself as the Queen, and when you do, you need to ask for what you want, and let the universe and other people know what you need. Queen of Cups. That is you, my Kansas, okay? That is you. Let the Queen of Cups rule over your attitude and your reactions to things until things settle down, okay? Because you still, you can literally still feel those knives in your back, all right? But you don't want to react to things in this state. You want to do things in this state because it, this is who you truly are when it comes down to it, Cancer. All right, you're elegant, you're emotional, but you're you're reasonable. Okay, so we need to we need to talk and communicate like the Queen of Cups. Whether it comes to you know your love life, your job, your career, whatever it might be, that's we, how we need to approach things. Okay. 
All right, my Cancers. This sums up our reading for June 2019. Like I said, happy birthday to some of you guys. I hope to see you on some live streams. Like I said, they're a lot of fun. And on June 31st, if you don't end up winning the giveaway basket, which you, all you have to do is share, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and leave a message to do so, to win. And like I said, July 31st, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be doing the raffle. I'll be literally picking out everybody's name who entered the contest and drawing the name then. And if you don't win the free basket, you might get yourself a free reading while we wait, okay? It's a lot of fun. I do a lot of live streams in the meantime, so maybe catch me for one. Until then, comment below. I love hearing from you guys, or you can email me for a private reading, or, you know, like our Facebook page. We do a lot of inspirational stuff every day, as well as you'll be updated on when I'll be posting my monthly readings. All right, guys? All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn. You guys have a beautiful June.